Welcome back to ETV. As we mentioned earlier, this week on the show we're talking about the wine industry in Idaho, and no better place to start than with Sarah, she's from the Idaho Wine Commission, and Beth, who's from the Williamson Orchard and Vineyards, right? And uh, we we'll thank you so much for being here, ladies. Uh, talk to me a little bit about what does the Wine Commission do? In a nutshell, we market and promote all Idaho wineries and vineyards. And we do things like educational seminars for both our members and the consumers to try and promote the word of Idaho wine. We also do events like Savor Idaho for our consumers and One to of our favorites. <laughs> put our wineries out into our consumers' hands, basically. Uh -huh. We're also starting up a new one called Sippin' in the City that'll come up in November 17th this year. And Sipping in the City is? It's a new event. It's going to be targeted towards the 40 and under crowd where they will take away all the tables from the wineries so they can't be behind their safety net, and we'll send Bev out to the consumer with her wine to pour for them. That's Ask wonderful. them if they want to do that. I'm going to be at that one. So, <laughs> so, now, now, Bev, talk to me. So, how did you get involved in making wines? Well, we were approached in the late 90s by St. Chapelle to be a contract grower of grapes because there was a deficiency, or not a deficiency, a lack of um, wine grapes in the valley at that time. Uh, as an orchard, we had a uh, very similar uh, land and equipment, infrastructure, that kind of stuff, uh, tractors and drip irrigation, those things. So we were a perfect match and we started growing grapes for them. But a little bit later we partnered with Greg Koenig from Koenig Distillery and Winery to help us make wine for ourselves and we had our first vintage in 2002 and it's been a wonderful adventure ever since. Very cool. Now, now, okay, where's your winery? Where's the vineyard at? We're within the Snake River AVA, but we're out in the Sunny Slope area of Idaho, which is kind of outside of Marsing and outside of Caldwell. And, and most of the wineries in Idaho, is that sort of...? A lot of them are in the Snake River Valley AVA, which is in the Caldwell, southwestern Idaho region, but we have them all over the state. Mm -hmm. There's growing wine region up in northern Idaho, which hopefully will have another AVA, which is an American viticulture area. Okay. And there's also ones in eastern Idaho, too. And, and very quickly, I mean, the, the, the myth is that it's always been too cold to grow wine, grow grapes in Idaho, but that's not true, right? No, no. I mean, I'm sure there's some parts of Idaho that are too cold, but... Stanley, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> McCall. Um, but when she's talking about this AVA, this is a designated area within the state that has perfect conditions for growing grapes. In fact, our temperature and our water condition are very similar to that in Washington. In fact, in some areas, better. Um, our particular vineyard has one of the warmest locations within our AVA. And because of that, we're able to grow varieties that some other wineries aren't. Ladies, if people wanted to get in touch with you, if you wanted to uh, talk to the Idaho Wine Commission, what's your website? It's idahowines.org. Okay, and Bev? Uh, we're at willorch.com. Very cool. Ladies, thank you so much for talking to us. We're going to talk more about wine, but we're going to take a commercial break first. So be right back with more ETV.